Hello and welcome to this video where you're going to see how to update your McAfee SIM. The McAfee SIM ships with a default set of data sources and correlation rules. However, these rules are frequently updated to support new data sources and new correlation rules, and it is best practice to update your SIM on a regular basis. The update can be done manually or automatically. We are going to see both methods, starting with the manual method. Either way, you need to first log in to the McAfee ESM console then click the System Properties icon in the upper right corner of the interface. If you are updating your SIM for the first time, like right after the initial setup, notice that the Last Update field will say Never. Otherwise, it will show the date that the last update was performed. In addition, if you have not set up permanent credentials, you will see the number of days left before your access expires. Click on Rules Update. We are going to start with a manual rule update. This is valid for SIM deployments that do not have access to the internet. But first, we need to download the appropriate rule files from the McAfee website. So let's go to our browser and go to www.mcafee.com slash us slash downloads slash downloads dot ASPX. Enter your grant number and your landing page will be different depending on the product entitlement associated with your grant number. You want to find the SIM section, and in our case, we are going to select the Virtual ESM Event Receiver and Log Manager combo, which is what we're running. The SIM option available to you will also depend on the rights that you have. Click on the link. Now you want to click on the MFE Nitro Rules Downloads link. Click Agree. Rules updates are version specific, so make sure to download the rules updates files for your version of the McAfee SIM. In our case, we're running version 9.3.2, so that's the file that we are going to download. Now that we have downloaded the package, we can go back to our ESM console. Click the manual update button and a file upload window opens. Next, browse the location of the rule update file we just downloaded and click Upload. You will see no further indication that the update is being applied until later, when the update process is done. And this can take 15 minutes or more. So click on Cancel and click on Cancel again. When the update is finally done, a manual update success pop-up will appear. This dialog may also appear when you log on to the SIM console after the rule update has been recently applied. Click OK. Now, let's double check that the update was successful. Click on the System Properties icon in the top right corner. And now, next to Rule Updates, instead of Never, we see Manual Update and the date the ESM was updated, which is a good way to tell when updates are successful. Now, we're going to do an automatic update. This will only work if your SIM is able to communicate to the internet and if you have requested and obtained a customer ID and password from McAfee, which you can do by sending an email to licensing at mcafee.com with your McAfee grant number, company name, address, contact name, and contact email address. Click Rules Update, click the Credential button, enter your customer ID and password, then click the Validate button. The way to know that it worked is that you won't get any message at all and the credential window disappears. If it didn't work, you will get an error message. Now you can choose to schedule the ESM to auto-check for updates at a regular basis. The default is every 12 hours. Or you can choose to check for updates now, which is what we're going to do. So click on the Check Now button. A window informs us that the update check has started. And just like for the manual process, a pop-up window will later inform us that the update was successful. And if you're not logged into the console when the success occurs, you will get the pop-up the next time you log on to the SIM. The process can take a while, so click on Hide, click OK, and you notice that the information next to Rule Updates has changed again. It now says Auto Update. Again, this is a good way to know when and how the last update occurred. You will also notice that the number of days remaining before I could not access the console has disappeared. That's because I entered my permanent credentials as part of the automated rule update process. My customer ID also appears at the top of the page. My SIM will now automatically check for updates every 12 hours. 
If your SIM does not have access to the internet, you can subscribe to the McAfee support notification services to be alerted when a major update becomes available, so you can go and download it. To sign up for this service, go to https colon slash slash sns.snssecure.mcafee.com slash content slash sign up underscore login. Now you know how to update your McAfee SIM. Thank you for watching this video.